<clears throat> we're down at McBride's Beach today. Today we're going to film a video on Isaac's Ford Ranger. You can see it in the background there behind me. So just there down, we're going to hit the track and then once we get down the bottom we'll do a bit of a walkthrough of it and see the mods he's done to this thing. It's looking pretty sick. All right, we'll start running through this thing, uh, top to bottom. I'll just, Isaac will explain each different part as we go. It's always interesting to find out how these vehicles are set up. So tell us, what is it, Ford Ranger? It's a 2014 Ranger, 3.2 litre, PX1 manual, six speed. Leaf springs at the rear? Leaf springs at the rear, coils, coils at the, the front. front, IFS. Yeah, so IFS front, solid axle rear. Okay, starting at the front, bull bar here. What's so, the bull bar? TGM chaser bar. This is a TJM one, is it? Yeah. Mm. I thought this would have been a custom one or something. I didn't know TJM did bull bars like this. It's pretty good. Yeah. Got a um, King's Winch. Yeah. The old Kings. Uh, does is that the Dominator one? Yeah, Dominator Exchange. What do you think? Because that's a bit highly debated topic with the King's Winches. Has, Has it worked? Break, hasn't broken down yet. It's <laughs> worked every time. That's the main thing. If it breaks down, I'll upgrade it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so and synthetic rope on that. Is that yeah. 9,500 pounds? Yeah. The bash plates? Uh, just the TJM. Bash plate to the radiator. Yeah. And they don't go any further back than that yet. Nah, that's on order. UHF? I've got a GME 6.6 uh, .6 DBI. Uh, it's just got a, I think, 32 or 22. XTM. Is it XTM? Yeah, it's just a BCF one, but it does the job. Okay, going with bar work. So you got a set of rock uh, sliders down the side here. Yeah, they're JE Custom rock sliders. Yeah. I've actually wrapped a code of them, but they've copped the bead in, so. Held up all good. Yeah, Held they're off. solid jack off from everything, but. Yeah, and yeah. they're bolted onto the chassis? Yeah, they're U brackets underneath the chassis and bolted over the top. Side of the vehicle, stainless snorkel. Yeah, so it's a four inch fabulous fab powder coated black snorkel to a stock airbox. And why, how do you find the snorkel? You find it noisy? Yeah, it's noisy, but once you put the window up, it's sweet. Yeah, that's the same as mine. Once you put the window up, you can't hear it. But yes. with the window down, yeah, it's pretty blasting in your ear there. And yeah, I've got some upgraded mirrors here. Yeah, so I've got a set of clear views. I've actually cut them down 90 mil though. Yeah. Because they just stick out way too far. And is that because of your canopy? Because you can't see out the back now? No, just too far out. But oh. like, when you did you upgrade to the clear view? Oh, no, I actually knocked that mirror off. So. Oh, so you just thought you... I actually knocked this mirror off. When okay, so you just off. thought you'd upgrade while you're, yeah. while you're smashing parts. So up on top here, you got a bit of stuff. You yeah, got I've a, got a roof platform. Yeah, I've got an OCAM platform. OCAM, is it? Yeah. I haven't heard of that. So is that an alloy or steel one? Uh, I think it's steel. I like it because it sits low compared to other platforms. It's yeah, low. it sits a bit lower than the Rhino one. Yeah, it doesn't get any wind, wind noises, nothing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, then I've just got a 52 inch King's light bar. Got the, is that your swag up there? Yeah, just swag, double King swag. Yeah, got you. the awning there too. Yeah, just King's off. Luck a bit of things, but <laughs> as long as whatever gets you out there, that's Does the, main, the job. Main, that's the main now. thing. I've had I've had not too bad experience with King stuff. Yeah, the stuff I've had hasn't been too bad. Anything else you got a solar uh, up there, dude? Got a kick ass 160 amp hour flexi solar panel up there. Okay, so have a look at that when we look at your dual battery stuff. Yeah, and that's sort of everything up there. You got a few lights Just on the side camping there. Camping lights. Are they hooked up to your dual battery yeah, or your main one? Everything's hooked up to the main battery. Ah, uh, to the dual battery except for the just driving the driving on. lights yeah, and the winch. Then right. the big one that everyone always wants to know, um, tyres and suspension. Yeah. What size are your tyres? So I've got 285, 75, 16 maxi razors. About a 33 inch. Yeah, it's 33. Sun razors, I think they're on a mon neg 13 offset. And they're steel rim? Yeah, steel rim. Yep. So if you smash them, just hit them back in. Yeah, knock them back into the hammer. I've got a um, 3 inch in the front. Uh, Bilstein shocks and coilovers, PSR upper control arms. So that's because you got three inch in the front, you need those upper control arms yeah. to get your uh, wheel alignments and all that done up right after. Yeah. Yeah. Got a diff drop. Yeah. PSR welding diff drop. 
Is that a, do you know what size that is, a 50 oh, mil? Yeah, I think it's the 50 mil, two inches, yeah. Yeah, 50 mil, drop that back down because you got that bigger lift in the front. Get the CVs nice and straight. And then at the rear, you got Bilstein shocks? Yeah, Bilstein and Tough Dog leaf springs. Underneath the vehicle, exhaust, I heard yeah. it coming down on the beach there. Yeah, so I got a three inch straight through exhaust, no cap, no muffler. Yeah. It's a playtime, dumps just before the diff. But... Anything else under the vehicle? No, nah, I got got a few diff guards but they're at home haven't chucked them on but okay just got a superior diff guard and pinion guard to go on got um tough four by four rock rock lights so there's eight all around the vehicle so there's two under the front tires one at each rear and one just underneath my rock sliders have you used them right like rock driving yeah, I have, yeah a few times it'd yeah. make a big difference wouldn't it yeah especially just the light does a good job because so. because we did that we like we've done a couple of tracks in the dark in the night and it's not like it's painful yeah you, no you can't see anything especially for a spotter because the front lights are too bright so yeah that's what we've had off. to do we've had to turn the lights off and then use head torches to see because yeah. the spotter can't see anything once you got your headlights on now down the back the main setup on the ranger for your touring camping everything the big standout setup on it so you got a tray down the back here yeah i got a steel tray which was on the vehicle when you got it yeah it was the only thing it was white but raptor coated it yeah so you don't know where it came from or anything no yeah. idea i know it's built in wagga wagga because the stickers are on it and yeah that's, that's it. it that's about whoever it whoever built it let us know yeah and then on the tray you got a canopy which you added on yourself yes. alloy canopy yeah it's aluminium three mil flat steel ah uh, flat aluminium yeah it's a meter wide so you keep all the weight just before the rear wheels yeah that's good so you don't have that weight hanging over the rear yeah, axle when you're doing weight. your harder tracks and yeah you don't have all this bulk like bulkness coming down yeah. the back and it's so much like if you have a full canopy setup it's so much so much room you yeah. know you really need a in sort of you'd want a family to yeah justify that on the back you got your spare tire your maxi is full in, full full spare yeah full spare all the same tires so does that not fit underneath or have you just put it there for oh, easy? Oh, there. If you get stuck on a hard track, you're not going to be under your car again. Yeah, it's just easier up there. Yeah. No, it looks good up there. And you got a... ARB cargo rubbish bag. Rubbish bag or dirty clothes or whatever. Yeah. And you got a high lift jack there. Yeah, we've got a TJM high lift jack. Yeah. I'll have a look in the canopy and see what's in there. Okay, give us a look inside your canopy. See what's in there. It's got latch doors. Are they lockable? Yeah, lockable, yeah. Yeah. Little grab handles. Yeah. It's got... Basic tools in here, ARB cargo bag, yep. so just your main tools, chainsaw, yeah, steel chainsaw, mini boss. So do you use this setup for work a bit stuff too? No, I don't actually, I've got a work car. Just weekend, like your, your camping and touring setup. Yeah, that's it. Yep. And then you got a big... Got a big 75 litre Waco. Well, we might go over the other side, have a look at the fridge, and then you can run us through your dual yep. battery setup. Right. Open up, you got your big fridge there, yep. 75 litre. Yeah, but it's a 90. 90 litre lockdown. Oh, okay, yep. So, like, so you can upgrade to yeah, so there's more little space if you need it. No, nah, it's good enough, does the job. Yeah, there's plenty in there. So it's a Domenico Waco. Yeah, it's a Waco fridge freezer, so or either or other. Or yeah. two fridges, two freezers. So what do you know you run does? Half freezer, I'll half go, fridge? Oh, I usually both both fridges to be honest. Yeah, you don't need the freezer much. Yeah, Unless nah. you're doing like a big trip, you yeah, want to freeze some meats trip. or something like that. Yeah, that's what I do. So that sort of takes up this side here. Yeah, it's a bit pretty big <laughs> yeah it gives plenty of room plenty of room but now so you got obviously your big fridge yeah and charging power tools and different yep. things you only need dual battery so what's your dual battery set up so i've got a um in here is my main box so i've got just basic usbs sockets all my switches so i've got all the camping lights lights in here which turn on yeah i've got their core led so there and they go to amber as well yeah so you keep the bugs down a bit yep. in summer and stuff and then all these are all my main camping lights around the car. Yep. Got um, Fusion full marine, I think they're marine um, speakers in there. Fusion speaker system runs through the whole, off all the dual battery. So you sort of, you get to camp, you want to listen to a bit of music, yep. open this up. Yeah, two put, seconds, connects to my phone. Put the speakers on, that's, yep. that's pretty cool setup. And I've got inverter, so I've got a pure sign 600 watt. Yeah. So yeah, that's so. What do you normally thing. what do you normally charge off the inverter? Like your power tools yeah, and stuff. Yeah, just my power tools. Yeah. yeah and then this uh, that this runs off an Anderson, Anderson, plug. Anderson plug there. Yeah. And your setup is that it's just the one battery? Yeah, just the one battery. As you know, is, is that AGM lithium? Uh, I think it's AGM. Yeah. AGM. It would I would want to upgrade it when it dies, but chuck one in the back of the car. Yeah. Take this out of here. 
So how long will this normally last you at camp? Like just sort it. of a night, a couple of nights? I've had or? it for three days with the solar panel on the top. So is that solar panel permanently running? Yeah, I've got a constant. Yeah, so when you pull up anywhere, the sun's just coming down and yeah. uh, topping up your power. Yeah. Now this, is it run off a DC, a DC charger? Yeah, so I've got a, in here I've got a DC charger, inverter, everything in here. Okay. Nava fuse block. Yeah. I'll, I'll put the camera in there now so we can uh, get yeah. our setup. Yeah, you got your household plugs, you got plenty of setup there. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got all these USB sockets. Got um, sockets for your cigarette lighters. Got an Ineva Drive battery monitor. All my switches are here. This is, that's to turn on the inverter. That's obviously inverter plugs. So, and that's my radio. So in here is where it all happens. So, that's my inverter, DC charger. And so it's a projector, it's all projector gear, yep. projector DC, DC and inverter there. Yeah, and yep. I've just got an Arva fuse block. Yep. Yeah. Got, and it's some plug there for the solar. Now in the engine bay, uh, it's all relatively stock in here, isn't it? You haven't done too much. No, nah, not even a chew, nothing. You got your air compressor in there? Yeah, just the air compressor down there. It's ARB. ARB. That's single or double? Ah, uh, just a single. That does the job pumping your tyres up? Yeah, it's a bit slow. I like to upgrade it, but yeah, it does the job for now. So you just got to, you just plug the hose in there when you need to use it? Yep. Does that run off your main or second yeah, battery? Yeah, that runs off my main. Uh, and other than that, so you guys said you're going to get a catch can and stuff in here Yeah, I've got a catch can at home and secondary fuel filter to go on. How many Ks you got on this? I got 197, so 200 clicking on. And then with your compressor, in the engine bay, that'd run your lockers as well. You got yep. air lockers. Yeah, so I got front and rear air lockers in it. ARB. ARB yep. yep. And so that's, yeah. this came with no factory lockers. No, did it? it's actually standard PX1, so not yep. even XLT, so it came with no lockers. Big difference on the tracks. Yeah, big difference. <laughs> Especially <laughs> just even the rear locker, but that front just gives it that yeah. little bit more. All right, and then inside the car, I'll sort of stand back out of the way here so you can see what's going on. What have you done inside the car? So I got a custom switch panel. Yeah. Obviously, ARB compressor, rear locker, front. Uh, that's my driving lights on the switch, which run off the I-beams, and that's just my rock lights. Yeah. Just got an EDS scan gauge. So what are you what are you looking at on the scan gauge? Oh, honestly, I don't even plug it in. You don't even use it? Nah, no, I just, if an engine code pops up, I'll clear it on yeah, there. Yeah, you clear your engine code and stuff with it. Yeah. Just got a SAS boost, boost gauge. Yep. Got a turbo timer, I drive. The turbo timer is just let your engine cool a bit when yeah. you're shut off. Yeah, so I run, I got it set on a minute, but some people leave it for longer. And then your I drive, you, do you like that? Use that a bit? Yeah, no, you can tell the difference, just turbo lag. Yeah. Just gets it up and going off takeoff. I just leave it on U6, I think. And then you got your UHF. Yeah, just UHF mounted there, just standard UHF. Is that a JME one? Yeah, it's a JME. Yeah, just an 80 channel. Standard yeah, just sort of 80 channel, yeah. yeah. Upgraded the sound uh, sound system throughout the car. Yeah. Runs focal speakers all around the car. Yeah. Uh, I do have a bass behind, under that sits on the back seat. I just don't have it in at the moment. Upgraded the stereo system, which is the whole fascia kit. So it's got a touchscreen Apple CarPlay in there. Run your Google Maps and that yeah. sort of stuff off it. Yeah, it's got to run a VMS. Yeah. So you got the Google Maps and the VMS for navigating off road. Yeah, yeah. That's about all the mods, I think. We've run through them all, haven't we? You got, yeah. a, you got a few there now. So, talking about mods you've done, because you got quite a few, but you said that there's a, still a long list to go. Yeah, there is. It's one of the four drives, one of those things that yeah. you are, you're always looking for the next thing. Yeah. Just uh, bank account gets a bit short sometimes. You know, next few mods, any order or anything you saw sort of ready to do next? Yes, yeah, so I got all the bash plates at Superior ordered. Yep. Um, Gift guards at home, catch can, ready to go on. Yep. And yeah, so future mods would probably be, I'd love to sell it axle swap the front. But yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah, and definitely, like in the long run, it's going to happen. Yeah. I'd love to put reduction gears in it. Yep. How's it go crawling? Is it yeah, a bit, bit like, too fast or it's alright? No, right? I love it because the 30 frees, but yeah. if you go any bigger, I had 35s on it. Yeah. And yeah, big damage. Doing that, we're going to like any mods that you've done and you've changed or regretted or something. Yeah. So that's, you, you did have 35s on yeah, it. Yeah, so didn't? I had 315s on 16 inch rims, which did too not. Too big? Yeah. I'd, so what was the problem? So I had neg 22, so I stuck out a bit. Too much strain on all the IFS, just couldn't handle it. So are you braking stuff? Yeah, so I'm just constantly doing wheel bearings, wheel, wheel driving, yeah. wheel bearings, because the tyres are too heavy. Yeah. CV, tie rod, just, and yeah. The, and uh, 
crawl speed wasn't great. No. Need reduction gears yeah. if you're going 35s. Too much strain on things. Yeah. Any other things you've done to this? You've changed or regretted or? No, nah, not really. I came with a stock bull bar, but that came off straight away. Yeah. Put the chaser bar on. Yeah. Yeah, but not much I regretted. But future plans would just be put a catch can on straight away. Yeah. That'd be. What about secondary fuel filter? Yeah, yeah, secondary fuel filter. So like I said, I've got all that at home ready to go on. Now, anything you've broken on this car so you got a couple of dents in your door, yeah. doors there yeah so i've smacked the two passenger doors at a rimba on can opener on one of the harder lines before can opener yeah did that in the rain don't recommend it <laughs> smacked that pass i uh, smacked the driver's side on cut rock on the tight tree yeah at wadigans and you that's when you upgrade the mirrors yeah that's you... when i upgrade to the clear view so are you getting your doors replaced yeah well, Gonna pick them up. Yeah, this got, got some new new ones coming. Yeah. So you're just gonna swap them out, are you? Yeah, just swap them out. Yep. Uh, now top three mods for top three, top three or four, whatever. For someone who's got one of these ranges or just getting into it, your three favourite ones you did? Yeah, it would definitely be rear locker. Yeah, that makes a big big difference. That's one you always hear. That rear yeah. locker just, just that's pushes like the car. And then from there, it'd be a two inch lift. Yeah and probably 33s yeah two inch lift 33 rear locker and you're going places yeah, yeah. get pretty far with just that now another question we just run through a few questions one i find always interesting is what's got you into four-wheel driving how'd you start it oh honestly just as a young kid just watching four-wheel drives yeah yeah just patrols and stuff just watching the videos four drive action as well yeah even tyler's videos are awesome just love adventures going away on the weekends so what do you, do you more enjoy, like the touring, the camping, the sightseeing, or the harder tracks? Yeah, so I'm in, I'm young, so I love the hard tracks. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. so trying to get around the place, do all those different hard tracks. Yeah. So what sort of the hardest tracks you've done? I've done Whiteman's Lane at Wadigans, Cut Rock, pretty much all Wadigans, yeah, so Wishing Well. Yeah. Yeah, so that's all pretty and good tracks. You've done a few, uh, few harder ones out Lithgow yeah, way and that. Yeah, most of Lifco. Yeah, done like Spanish Steps yep. and uh, Moon Rock, all those tough ones yeah, out yeah. there. So you've ticked a few tough tracks off now. Any any uh, ones you got on your bucket list? Yeah, so I love to go do Coffs Harbour. Yeah. Go hit all those tracks. There's some really steep hills out there. Yeah, I love to go do all that, test the car, and love. To, just want again. I'd love to go a bit of touring up, but Morden or Fraser Island. Yeah, once the borders open again. Yeah, <laughs> I love to go out there and. Potentially Cape York when I'm a bit older. Yeah, yeah, Cape York's one of those bucket list trips. Yeah, just want to get to the tip. <laughs> That's about everything. We've sort of gone through all the mods. We've asked a few questions. Nothing else really to add. Yeah, I see you're loving it. You're loving the four-wheel drive and you yeah. like this car? You happy with it? Yeah, I love it. Wouldn't, you... wouldn't change it for anything. Yeah, so you just, you're not really so much going to look for anything else. Just keep upgrading this one. Yeah. And a solid axle swap when you want to get... Yeah, I like the solid axle swap. Go harder again. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for doing the video with us. We'll, get, we'll uh, drive the track back out of here now and get a, get a bit more footage.